Boeing CST-100 commercial crew capsule is taking shape. A small team of engineers, including one with dreams of being an astronaut, has helped make the capsule design a reality by designing and building a full-scale mock-up. When I walk into my other office, if you will, uh, of, of this mock-up, it really makes it real and, it, and I just enjoy it. I enjoy being able to interact and see so the reality of what we're designing. Unlike previous U.S. space vehicles, the CST-100 is designed to land on land, making the vehicle reusable but can make an emergency water landing if necessary. By landing on land, we are able to recertify this vehicle for flight and have multiple launches with the single vehicle. And for one Boeing engineer, childhood stories about space and humans walking on the moon have had her dreaming big. Hey, I want to go to the moon. Kavya Manyapu, a flight test engineer on the CST-100, may get to live out her dream because she's also training to be an astronaut. Having the passion for space exploration and with my, my parents' motivation that, you know, go for something which you're really passionate about and you would excel in whatever you do if you put in the best you can. With her parents' advice in tow, Kavya moved from India to the U.S. to get a college education and has been preparing to become an astronaut ever since, including taking up scuba diving and getting her private pilot's license. It's not a sprint, it's, it's a marathon, um, so I'm preparing myself um, every day uh, to, to get there. And her fellow engineers on the CST-100, like Brandon Satayish, said the capsule is the start of a new era of space travel. We're going to bring it to uh, the commercial level, make it more accessible, make more frequent flights, and we're enabling the ability for the U.S. to get back into space off of our own soil. For Kavya, going to space would be a dream come true. For now, she's perfectly happy as a CST-100 engineer and can't imagine doing anything else. One of the coolest assignments I had on my job was actually coming up with the nomenclature and the names of the switches and panels that go on um, our CST-100 capsule, all the display and control systems. In the future, if I ever get to sit in one of these capsules, I'll be reflecting upon, hey, that's, that's really the switch I named. And thinking about one day sitting in the very capsule she's working on? It's very exciting to say the least, so I'm looking forward for that day. As for the CST-100, the first piloted orbital flight of the capsule is scheduled for 2016.